Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it is June favourites time and it's going to be a very quick one because I don't have many favourites. It'll be quick and quick and quick. The first two favourites are both music favourites and the first of the music favourites will not come as a surprise to anybody if you watched my second to last video, my post gig blues video. It is Coming Home by Busted. It's one of their new songs and I got it free with their newsletter because if you sign up to their newsletter you get it free which is amazing! So nice of them! <coughs> Very exciting. No. Oh. So if you're not sure if you are going to like Busted, if you've never listened to them before or if you didn't like their old stuff, their new stuff is quite different. Coming Home is a song that was written by them for us the fans who were watching them years and years ago and have been waiting for them to come back and of course it's called Coming Home so it's all about them coming home to us to our to us oh for them to come home come home to mommy come home to me come home oh any good come home dear this was the opening song in their set for their tour which is over now and I'm very emotional about that and the fact that I got it free because I signed up to the newsletter is just it just makes it so much better my next music favourite is The Sound by The 1975 when I first heard it it wasn't a song that I was like I must go download this now this actually links back to the busted gig that I went to The Sound was one of the music videos that they were playing on the screens in the intervals I think it's probably the music video that made me love the song so much I loved the combination of the band singing and the text cards I don't know there was just something about it. Maybe it was also the atmosphere of the gig that was putting me in a really good mood. The lyrics don't sound particularly positive, apart from the chorus, but it's a really happy, upbeat song and one that you can really dance to. The next thing is a bit odd, I suppose, but it is a quote, kind of inspirational section of text. Basically it's a post on LinkedIn which is supposed to be inspirational and telling you not to give up on your dream no matter how old you are because it tells you the age of when all these famous people started doing what they were gonna do. What they became famous for, you know. Let me just read it to you, that might explain it a bit better. At age 23, Oprah was fired from her first reporting job. At age 24, Stephen King was working as a janitor and living in a trailer. At age 27, Vincent Van Gogh failed as a missionary and decided to go to art school. At age 28, J.K. Rowling was a single mother on benefits. At age 30, Harrison Ford was a carpenter. Stan Lee didn't release his first big comic book until he was 40. Morgan Freeman landed his first major movie role at age 52. Whatever your dream is, it is not too late to achieve it. You aren't a failure because you haven't found fame and fortune by the age of 21. Hell, it's okay if you don't even know what your dream is yet. So this really is inspiring for me right now. Something that I'm going through is not knowing what my dream is, I don't know what I want to do. There's not that one thing that I'm like, yes, that's what I need to do for the rest of my life. I feel like I need to have that right now. But then I read this quote and it just puts everything into perspective and I think that's that line in particular, you aren't a failure because you haven't found fame and fortune by the age of 21. It's difficult to remember that when you see all of these famous people who are really successful at a really young age and it's just not true that whatever you're doing right now is what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life and that you have to know what you're doing right now and what you want to do and you have to be doing it now and forever and do you know what I mean? But it's really easy to forget that. So this quote is something that I am going to try and refer back to when I'm feeling like a failure. So yeah, I found that post really helpful and I hope that by telling you about it, it might help some of you as well. The next thing is wearing a fake nose ring. I've got quite a few. Oh, they were just really cheap ones off of eBay when I wanted to test out what it would look like to have a pierced lip and then they've just been sitting in my little pot and I recently decided to try wearing it on my nose instead and I've been liking it. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't and it's the same on my face. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. They're quite comfortable to wear because when you put them in, if you put them in the right position and then you just don't move them at all whilst you're wearing it, then you kind of don't feel it but 
if you've been wearing it for a while and then you nudge it and it moves to a different position that's when I start feeling it and it starts getting uncomfortable they're just little spring-loaded rings and yeah you can put them anywhere you can have a pierced lip you can have a normal nose ring you can have normal earrings you can have cool positioned earrings you could try putting it somewhere else oh you could you could try you could, you could try it wherever you want to. Basically, you can put them wherever you like. So, mm. but I wouldn't blame you if you don't like this look because, yeah, it definitely is a bit hit and miss, a bit Marmite. For me, sometimes it's hit, sometimes it's miss. That's exactly what hit and miss means. So, that's pretty much everything. I have got one other thing. I haven't actually used it, I just love it. It's this fish purse. Look at it. Look at that eye! <laughs> so that is everything for my short June favourites. I hope you had a great June and I hope that July is wonderful for you as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.